video. Yeah, okay, okay. Mose, Mose, please. Let's get out of here. Go. Get out of here. Just kidding, I love you so much. I know it, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, come here. <laughs> What's going on guys? I bought 150 cans of hairspray. Also, my neighbor's getting a new roof on, so there's a lot of noise in the background. I'm so sorry. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I bought 150 cans of hairspray at Goodwill, what I paid for it, how much I think I can make, and it's pretty exciting. This is probably my best thrift find ever. So, uh, buckle up, here we go. What's going on you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. If you don't know who I am, if this is your first time here at my channel, I'm a full-time reseller based out of South Carolina. And this basically means that I buy things at thrift stores and yard sales and I sell them on platforms like eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, you, you get the idea. Because I'm full-time and I'm attempting to do this for a living, finding things like the item I'm gonna show you in today's video is a huge score for me. So let's get right into it. I don't wanna drag you guys along forever. This is the hairspray. I went to Goodwill yesterday and they had boxes and boxes and boxes of this. I saw it on the register. I went up and scanned the barcode. And turns out this bad boy is selling for about $17 on Amazon. I'm gated, unfortunately. And on eBay, there's a bunch of different listings for like a single can, two cans, three cans, all the way up to like six cans. On average, this is selling for about anywhere from $15 to $17 per can on eBay as well. It also has a very high sell-through rate. It sells about four to six units per day on eBay. I'm not sure about Amazon, but the sales rank on Amazon was like 9,000 in beauty, which is very, very good. So when I was at Goodwill and I scanned this and I saw that it was such a, a good product, I looked at the price tag and the Goodwill was only asking 92 cents per can. So I got all the boxes I could find and put them in a buggy and I wheeled them up to the cashier and I she lets me like keep stuff up there because uh, I don't want to push around a whole you know buggy full of hairspray the whole time I was there. Uh, while I was looking around the store, I found three more boxes, which was a total of 13 boxes of this hairspray. Each box had 12 cans in it, but one box was open. So I think that box had like eight or something, but it was 150 cans in total. So each can at 92 cents means I spent a total of $138 on all 150 cans of this hairspray. I really trusted the Goodwill cashier because she didn't let me count them. I just put all the boxes in a buggy and she was counting them for me. She said there was 150 in there and I just trusted her. Got home, verified. She she was honest. She was telling the truth. 150 cans. I'll throw up some screenshots here. This is the Amazon uh, profile page or whatever you want to call it of this product. Uh, you can see the sales rank is very low both on the single can and the double can. Uh, unfortunately, though, I am gated. Probably because this is an aerosol and I think it falls within that Amazon hazmat uh, category. So I don't think I'm going to be ungated on this anytime soon. So I think I will sell all 150 cans on eBay. Here is the eBay snapshot. You can see this has a very high sell through rate. There was like three or four cans purchased today or yesterday and like five or five to 10 more purchased earlier this week. Um, it seems to be selling pretty much every day. There are other sellers from anywhere from one can on a listing all the way up to six cans on a listing. I think one can was like the lowest price on one can was $19.99 free shipping and it went all the way up to like $99 free shipping for six cans. Now obviously the more cans I put on a listing, the cheaper I will have to, to make it. So the less money I will make per unit. So I think what I'm going to do is have three listings on my store. A listing for one can, a listing for two cans, and a listing for three cans. The reason I'm doing three separate listings is because I'm not sure which quantity will sell better. I'm not sure if people prefer to buy them two or three at a time or just one at a time. Maybe it's somebody that just wants to try out the hairspray and you know they're a, a new customer and they don't want to buy two or three cans. They just want one. So I'm okay with selling one at a time. The shipping will be more per unit, but the profit will also be more per unit. Speaking of shipping, these are aerosol cans. So these will have to be shipped via USPS Parcel Select, which is the only USPS method that ships via ground. So when I put this listing up, I'm gonna to have to exclude shipping to Alaska and Hawaii, and I cannot ship this via the global shipping program. I can only sell this hairspray to people in the contiguous continental US. Now we can get into the profits. I said on Instagram yesterday, it should be about $2,500 worth of hairspray. And that is best case scenario. That's if I sell every single can for like 25 to $30 with free shipping. The parcel select is gonna cost a little bit depending on, you know, if I have to ship one can parcel select all the way across the country to California, it's probably gonna cost me like $9 or so. So even if I sell a can for $25 free shipping, one can, 
I'm not gonna make that much money, maybe like 12, 12 bucks or so on per can. But I think, you know, on average, after fees, after shipping, I'd, I'm hoping to profit between 14 and $15 per can. Alexa, what is 15 times 150? 150. I don't know if you heard Alexa, but if I can sell each can and make a profit of $15 per can, that will give me a total profit amount of $2,250. Now I know the market can shift. I know other sellers can come onto this product. I don't think it's discontinued. I think it's just expensive. Uh, there are other sellers on eBay. There's a few sellers on Amazon. I'm not really worried about Amazon since I'm gated. So I know there's a lot of factors that come into play, but don't get don't lose sight of the fact that I just spent $138 on roughly $2,000 worth of a product that sells every single day on eBay and Amazon. These are the types of deals that full-time resellers need to rejoice in. This does not happen every day. I go to the thrift store every single day and I've never found a deal of this proportion. You know, I have a ton of stuff in my death pile. I could sit there and list and not, I could not go to the thrift store for the, a month and I probably wouldn't run out of stuff to list. FOMO, my fear of missing out, is fueled by things like this. I didn't need to go to the thrift store yesterday. I wasn't even, I was on a random part of town I'm not usually on. I just stopped by that Goodwill that I haven't been to in a while. And the very first thing I saw in that Goodwill were those cans of hairspray. Finds like that just fuel me to keep going to thrift stores every day. If you have a bunch of stuff in your death pile, you don't have to stop thrifting. You just have to be pickier with what you buy. I passed up on a bunch of shoes yesterday. I passed up on a bunch of like normal shirts and jackets because I could make money, but I wasn't making enough money to warrant bringing a whole bunch of other things into my inventory system. But this hairspray was a, no thought. It was, a, it was a done deal. I was buying all of it. I think I've covered everything that you guys could could criticize about this fund. Like, oh, you gotta ship it parcel select. I know I have to ship it parcel select. You cannot ship this first class or priority or anything like that. I know I can't ship it to Hawaii. I know I can't ship it overseas. But even with those limitations, I still think I will sell out of this hairspray within six months at, at the minimum. I'm just really excited to share this fund with you guys. It's not every day that any resellers find deals like this. and. And I just, I'd want to tell somebody, somebody who cares, you know, I could tell my friends and family, but they're not resellers and they, they don't really understand the significance of it, but you guys can appreciate this. And I'm just really excited to share it with, with the community. Again, to reiterate, I spent $138 on all 150 cans. And let's, let's say the market tanks and I can only get $10 per can. That's still $1,500 in profit from $138 investment. I'm just, I'm super excited because I don't see anything happening where this does not become the best flip of my reselling career. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. I post about three new videos a week with two live videos a week every Wednesday morning and Friday afternoon. And, and I just, uh, I just like reselling. So if you like reselling, my channel is probably going to be a good channel for you to subscribe to. I think, my opinion. I'm a little biased. Thank you guys for watching. You're the best, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.